This video covers the steps for installing and registering your battery-powered connected flush valve. Let's dive right in. First, you'll want to shut off the water supply. If present, remove the vandal-resistant cover from the control stop. Turn clockwise to halt the water flow. Next, release any residual pressure. Press and hold the manual handle or override button for three full seconds to do so. Now, remove the flush valve body. Loosen and unfasten the flush valve tailpiece nut from the control stop using a smooth-jawed wrench. From there, loosen the vacuum breaker tube nut from the flush valve and detach the flush valve body. You're almost ready to install. Assemble your connected ZTR series flush valve as follows. Loosen and remove the four mounting screws from the back of the monitor housing and take off the back panel. Insert the supplied batteries and reinstall the back panel onto the monitor housing. Then tighten the screws completely. For future battery swaps, make sure you only use one battery type. Do not mix and match alkaline and lithium batteries. All right, now look for the fixture's red connectors. Align the arrows and press them together to connect the monitor to the sensor lens. The solenoid connects to the sensor lens via its black connectors. Again, align the arrows and press together. You can make use of the space within your sensor cap to store the red and black connectors. Align the sensor cap screw hole with the keyway in the ring insert and place the sensor cap on the valve body. Rotate the cap counterclockwise until the set screw is visible and the sensor itself is facing forward. Using the 332nds hex key, rotate the set screw clockwise to secure the cap. Before you attach the flush valve tailpiece to the control stop, inspect and verify that the O-ring seal is located within the O-ring groove at the tailpiece. Ensure that the tailpiece nut and the locking snap ring are also present on the tailpiece. Lubricate the O-ring with water if needed and insert the flush valve tailpiece into the control stop valve. Tighten the locking nut by using a smooth-jawed wrench. Next, attach the flush valve body to the vacuum breaker assembly. Tighten the vacuum breaker tube nut to the valve body and hand-tighten the spud nut onto the fixture spud. Adjust the valve assembly for plumb. Tighten all connections with a smooth-jawed wrench. You're all set to turn the water supply back on. Use your flathead screwdriver, turning counterclockwise. Press the manual override button once again to clean the line and finally, put the stop cap cover on. All right, let's register your product. First, open the Plum Smart app and log in. You can even apply facial recognition or your fingerprint for added security. Go to the top left and select register product. Here you have a couple options. You can scan the QR code with the product serial number or click the don't have code link to manually enter the product serial number. If you can't find your serial number, click the where is the serial number link for a visual aid. Hit back to registration to return to the main screen. Press scan to bring up your camera and scan the QR code with your serial number. You'll see it was successfully pulled here. Next, you can take a picture of your installed product. This is optional, but helpful. Press the Upload Picture link to bring up your camera and take a picture. That image will go into the portal for your reference anytime. Click Next to take you to the Product Location section. Zern Customer Care created your enterprise for you when you call the head, so you can specify the location of your products. Select the building, floor, and room from the dropdowns. Then enter the installed location for easy identification down the road. Select the product type from the drop-down menu and go ahead and name your product to differentiate from other Zern connected products. You can go back and edit this at any time. The installer name and install date are pre-populated, but you can edit this as well. Then press next to register. Sit tight, let the information load. Now you have the option to add more products or click done if you're all set. Thanks for joining me. I hope you found it helpful. Make sure to check out our library of how-to videos for PlumSmart and Zern Connected products at zern.com slash PlumSmart.